Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TV celebrity quiz, Shooting Stars! And introducing the members of the Starbirds team, please welcome Martin Clunes! Martin, 34, owns an Afro-Caribbean hairstylist in Swindon, specializing in hair straightening and hair loosening. His salon pioneered the famous 24-hour temporary fringe. He also stars in Demob with Hugh Laurie. And introducing Miss Wendy Richard. Wendy, 32, likes to spend her days in the East End, but at night she heads west. Yes, all the way to Shrewsbury, where she supervises a home for men with medieval haircuts. And finally, introducing the captain of the Starbirds, Jonathan Ross. Cricket man Jonathan, 40, a TV big shot, also owns Boycott Soups. The soups with the famous fat, ball and googly shaped pasta pieces. In their oval shaped tin, they're guaranteed to give you the runs you require. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Starbirds. And now, introducing their opponents tonight, Ladies and gentlemen, the helicopter. Please welcome Noddy Holder. Noddy, all coconuts as he's known on the club circuits, currently resides in a Saxon burial mound in Wales near Bristol. Noddy is no stranger to answering questions. At his local police station, that is. And introducing the gorgeous Ulrika Johnson. Ulrika, 30, shouted Eureka when she invented Railroaders, the breakfast cereal with the Southern Region timetable on each crispy flake. Caring Ulrika plowed all proceeds from her invention into a hostel for frowsy women, inappropriately called the Honey Twix Foundation. And finally, introducing the captain of the helicopters, Danny Baker. Brilly Foley, blue movie man Danny, 47, the deadpan, sour-faced, bog-eyed, big-nosed, bandy-legged Scott, has a history of petty theft, boozing and womanizing in bars the length and breadth of this country, to which, incidentally, he is an illegal immigrant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the helicopter. And finally, introducing your host for this evening, Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. Welcome, please, yes, of course, welcome to Shooting, Shooting Stars. Stars! Oh, I do apologise, madam. <laughs> What's going on, Fervic? I just shot that woman's pig. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, love. Oh, no, let's carry on. Yes, welcome, indeed, to Shooting, Shooting Stars. Shooting Stars! <laughs> oh, I do apologise, madam. Don't forget. What is it now, Vic? I shot the other pig. Another pig? Two How pigs. many pigs has she got? You know you shouldn't bring pigs in here. <laughs> Just, oh, well, five it isn't it? Three left. Just a couple of pigs left though, eh? Yes, welcome to Shooting Stars. The quiz where TV celebrities, you see here, answer questions about TV matters and become TV celebrities themselves in doing so. <laughs> The rules are simple enough. There's open rounds, individual rounds, yes. and of course, team rounds. And on the open <laughs> rounds... On the open rounds, you must use your buzzer. And remember, we really want to see those fingers. Really want to see the fingers. <laughs> really want to see the really fingers. Really want to see those fingers. <laughs> you want to see the fingers. Well, without any further ado. Oh, hang on, though. During the course of the, uh, the rounds, you may hear this sound. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that roast partridge you had for my tea. But... <laughs> anyway, the first round, without any further ado, is true or false. It's true. It's true. True, true or, or false. false. True or false. Good. Is the statement true or false? And the first question, true or false, is. For Martin, oh. pop star Roy Wood of the Move and Art Wizard was originally christened Ulysses. That'll be true, yes. It is true! Well yes. done! I think we're going to like Martin. I hope so. Martin, you know, you and Noddy should get together. You know, Noddy and Biggie is. <laughs> well spotted, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Martin. But oh, <laughs> dear, very big. Jonathan! Film superstar Daniel Day-Lewis once had a part as a DJ in a detective series called Bergerac. True or false? I'll go for true. No, it's false. Oh, 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 false. Oh,
Well, actually, not very well done. <laughs> no points there, Jonathan. Wendy, Patrick Moore was the first person on television to swallow a fly live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Correct! Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> turning to the helicopters, Noddy, yes. are you ready? I'm going to ask this question yes. and the exact angle that the singer of Boney Am had a side parting. Just, you know, <laughs> just because of the fun, really. Noddy, Sue Nichols, who plays Audrey Roberts in Coronation Street, is yes. really the Honourable Susan Francis Harmer Nichols. Truffles. That is true. You knew, didn't you? I didn't know. Then it is true. One point. Ten, Noddy. Ten, Noddy. <laughs> Danny, Baxter's soup gets its special flavour for being stirred. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> With company founder Raymond Baxter's brass hand, so or false? It's false. It is false. <laughs> That's the proper one. You mean foolish? You mean a fool? Well, do you want another one? Yeah, give another one, a proper one. Fair enough. It is good, it is good. Nicholas Lindhurst's head is so long and narrow that he has to wear children's hats. <laughs> that or false? That's true. It is true. <laughs> Oh, Rika, this is dog's hair long these days, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Rika, TV amphibian Duncan Goodyear is so obsessed with litter that he hides in shop doorways and pounces on unsuspecting litter lads. Truffles. It is true. Oh, it is true. It is true. Well done, well done. Yes, now, that's the end of that round, so let's take a look at the scores, Vic. Yes, let's have a look at them. <laughs> Mm. Well, moving on to the second round now, <laughs> and this is entitled Commercials. We're going to start off with the Starbirds. That's you, Jonathan. Have a look at this commercial and tell me from what year does it date and who is speaking the voiceover. If you're looking for pretty clothes, take a look in Van Allen. We have blouses and knitwear from £1.95, trousers from £3.95. In fact, everything, oops, including coats and rainwear, from £12.95. So next time you're out looking for clothes, look in at Van Allen first. Mmm, so Starbucks, what year and who was the voiceover? What year? I have no idea. I must be Angus Dayton doing the voiceover. £13.95 yeah. was the price that they, I would have said, about 72. Oh, Jonathan, sorry, it was 1975. <laughs> what about the voiceover? It's not Alan Freeman, is it? I thought it was Alan Freeman. Freeman. Wendy thinks it's Freeman. Alan Freeman. Alan Freeman. No, clear that. Hey! Oh, no, 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 Sends from egg, milk, gravy, and blood stains. Biotech soap stains away, loosens the It's the biological action, you know. Oh, and I'll tell you something else. Sometimes you don't need to wash things at all. Biotech! Helicopters. Thor heard. It was Thor heard. What happens next? What happens next is her husband comes out, come out and says that... Doesn't he? He just comes out. He comes out. <laughs> <laughs> her husband comes out. <laughs> Her husband comes back and says, and compliments her on the whiteness of her shirts, even yeah. at 40 Well, degrees. let's take a look. I am Bob. The smile's going, she's starting to sway. Her <laughs> eyes are starting to go. <laughs> she, oh. She's going, it, she's going, she's going to fall off. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> Starbirds. What is Ernie about to offer housewives, and in what year? Ernie with the milkman. One of the Unigate teams. But he gives the housewives more than milk, like eggs, potatoes and cream. But there's something you're not giving up. Come off the housewives, say. He said, I know just what you mean. And now he gives them... <laughs> Jonathan, he looks very much like you in that advert. <laughs> in well, I would say 74. No, it's incorrect, and what was he offering? Oh, Slade albums. 
<laughs> they were going to start selling bread and stuff like that. You yeah. get everything from your milkman, eggs. like uh, bread, eggs, potatoes, stuff like that. Yes, you do know your milk roundsman. <laughs> Well, well, what's the answer? What can I do? Well, well, well the, um, I've just told you. Just give us a point well, and say, go on say, to the next well, question. Say bread. We'll say bread. It is bread. Yeah! 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 I know just what you mean. And now we give them bread. So, one point now. <laughs> Less of that as well. That costs a lot of money, that gin. <laughs> Helicopters. Who is starring opposite Lorraine Chess in this commercial, and what is the year? Um, Campari and lemonade? No, orange juice. Campari and orange juice? Now, is that out of sheer recalcitrance? No, out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Oh, again, can yeah, you tell us what the year is first, if you like? Seventy... Eight. 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 Oh, nine. So... Yes, correct, <laughs> Mr. Bread, no. eggs, sugar, no, no, no. little oh, cheese. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 you so cock cockney butter boys. Then he's he's <laughs> Well, um, we'll give you that one, Helicopters, but tell us who's co-starring. Uh, the, the, the answer is Tyrus Van Leer. No, sure, sure, Nigel Avers. Nigel, 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 Nigel bloody Avers. It was Nigel Avers. It was Nigel Avers. Oh, All right, then we're going to get an, get an adjudicator. Hey, adjudicator, come on, who was it? Adjudicator. <laughs> who was it? It was definitely... Nigel Alvers! <laughs> hey, I'll tell you that! <laughs> well, I'll settle that. Whoa! <laughs> One point! One point! All right, but let's take a drink break anyway. Yes, I think it's probably good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Did you not drink anything? <laughs> This. This. That ham's gorgeous. I still am. Is, oh, is it not? I know. Is it not? Oh, you haven't, have you? <laughs> well, he was just lying there. They were only going to bury him, weren't they? <laughs> but Vic, he was your favourite brother. <laughs> hey, that was lovely, Vic. Thank well, you. that was a lovely <laughs> set-up gag, wasn't it? <laughs> well... Now then, shut up. Well, go on, carry on. I don't know if you're aware, ladies and gentlemen, but myself and Mr. Braves do very, very, very inadequate impressions of TV celebrities such as these good people here. Now, we're going to do a few of them now, and these good people have to guess who it is we are doing impressions of. Now, this is on your buzzers. So I really want to see those fingers. I want to see those fingers. Keep them moving. One point if you I guess the impression. And the first impression is... Who is this? <laughs> Who's got the rogue bell? <laughs> Who's impression it is? <laughs> what? <What's really? laughs> Damn! <laughs> Just looking at you it. You were doing something down below then. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? To that, we'll be looking at a retrospective book. Starbucks. Rock. Jonathan. Um, oh, your superb performance, Mr. Melvin Blake. Correct! Hey. Well done. <laughs> Vic, who am I? Who are you? Mm, we'll see in a minute. <laughs> Percy, would you like to come down here? Starbird Rock. Oh. It's that, uh, it's that, that woman off Coronation oh. Street ah. who looks rather like a man. That's not good enough. She's got the purple hair. Who's that? That's not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, British, <laughs> the British B. Arthur. What's her name? What? She does. She's what? What's her name? <laughs> 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 It's Philly, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it was. Vic, Vic. Yes. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Vic. Yes. Who, Who are you? Rachel. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm just a gigolo. Yes. Oh. Ah. Yes. Starbirds. Oh. Ross. A very, very fine impersonation of Mr. Tony Slattery. Thank you. Oh, oh John. Oh, thank you, John. Thank you. Really? Three no. valuable points. Tuck the wire underneath. Oh, no. just clap your hand. 
What are you doing? Mercy, it looks like a tentacle <laughs> It's so working. Vic. Huh. Yes, helicopters. Yeah. Who is this? Lewis! <laughs> Lewis! <laughs> Lewis. Helicopters, Baker. Uh, the Lewis. The the, uh, the 18th century king of France's mother. Lewis. Yeah. He's not going to stop. Yes. Back on off. Lewis. Lewis. Very good. Lewis. <laughs> it is very good. But Lewis. Yes, my darling. But. Lewis! Oh. Can we have a point over there? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. Is anyone's working? Mine's working beautifully. Mine's yep. Why did it have to be Ulrika's working perfectly? What? <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> Well, I thought some of our impressions were absolutely precise. And you were very hurt by some of the scornful remarks on some of our so-called celebrities here tonight, weren't you, Bob? You were, weren't you? Yes. Yes, well, say yes. <laughs> Because you're a very sickly, pathetic boy, aren't you? You're very, very frail. <laughs> and sensitive. So we're going to turn the tables on our celebrities now and have some impressions for them. And uh, let's have the wild card, random... <laughs> life. Random factor. Go! Go! Ooh. Who will it be? Oh, great. Martin, give us an impression. <laughs> no buzzer in the first impression. <laughs> um... I've prepared this, actually. Yes, we You'll can like tell. It. This is John Betjeman as the Elephant Man. Oh, are we not supposed to get We're supposed to tell him that you twerk. Yes. <laughs> well, I'd, well, I'd like to hear the Elephant Man. We, I'm not an elephant. I'm the Poet Laureate. Random factor, please. What a lovely sight. Danny! Oh. Danny! Russell Thompson, Jr. of the Stylistics. Oh, a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you ought to be a star on a TV show. Thank you very much. Very evocative. Phenomenal. Crap. Very evocative. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Random factor. Let's see you. Nothing. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Here would bag a crisp in a cup of soup. And you going there, you know? Well, I believe that's yourself, Noddy, so we can't give any points. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's me doing you doing me. Wow! That's a point. Well, I'll give you a point if you can do as you walk, cry. Mm. Baby, baby, baby! Yeah. That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> well, at this stage, shall we have a look at the scores? No, let's not, let's not. I don't want to look at the scores. Yeah, we will do. <laughs> Could it be that the scores are the Starbirds in the lead? Mmm. Uh, well, we are now coming to the final round, which we're calling Category. <laughs> oh, Rick, man. Rick. 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 She doesn't want a sweaty man like yourself pouring over. Please re retire. Do you fancy coming out? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm getting a couple of Vic, I'm getting Vic. Right. Watch. Vic, come on. <laughs> I do apologise, Eureka. It's like having a great big pasty looking at you, isn't it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Vic, can you carry on? Vic, will you carry on? I can't carry on. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> Now, behind us, you see this magnificent blue suitcase. Oh, Valise well, Bleu. Valise well, Bleu. Valise well, Bleu. <laughs> On it are displayed categories of questions. Now, hidden behind one of the subjects on the Bleu Valise is a mystery prize. And if you should choose that subject, you'll hear this noise. Iran. <laughs> I 
and you will receive details of that mystery prize. Now, should you answer incorrectly, you will hear this noise. Vic, can I just hear the noise for the mystery prize again? Iran. And for the incorrect answer? Ubabu. Well, I look forward to hearing those again. No, so, Nodi, let me invite you to choose a subject from the Blubberlies. I'll go with gardeners. Bear with me. Noddy, in the 1970 series The Good Life, who played the voice of Tom and Barbara's pig? Tom and Barbara... pig. Oh, I think what, uh, Percy Thrower maybe? No, I'm afraid it was Percy Edwards. Oh, Percy oh. Edwards. <laughs> Incorrect, you see. Okay, Martin, pick a category. Uh, dogs, please, Vic. Irano. Irano, indeed. You've won tonight's mystery prize. A pair of trousers from Vic and Bob's catalogue. Yes. Mm. Martin, you can pick a pair of trousers. How many of those bar those are a bit too dear? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm getting these ones, Vic, so... Have you got your eye on them? Yeah, I've got my eye on them, yeah. Well, those trousers there. Uh, <laughs> go send off him immediately. Mm. Here's your question mm. on dogs. <laughs> Martin, can you name any four of the Blue Peter dogs? Yes. <laughs> I will go and give us some. Petra, Shep, Goldie, and Jeff. <laughs> oh, so close. Ah, guess which one's wrong? <laughs> you could have had Petra, Patch, Honey, X2, times two. <laughs> honey, times two. two. <laughs> Goldie, Shep, or Bonnie? Mmm, Bonnie. Sadly, oh, you're too late now. Too late indeed. Helicopters. Eureka, would you yeah. pick a subject from the uh, Blubberlist? Tramp. Name the vagrant played by Patricia Hayes in the BBC's 1971 award winning film. Is it Edna? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Edna, the immediate woman. Okay, Jonathan, pick a category from the Blubberlist. <laughs> Monks. Monks, please, Big Indeed. Monks. Derek Nomo played a monk in the 1968 hit series, Oh Brother. What was his name? You know, I've no idea. I've no interest. <laughs> I know you well then. Very well. Ubabu. It was Derek. It <laughs> was Derek. Ubabu. Did he? I'm so Ubabu's like a brick wall, Jonathan. That's it. You can't go past it. You cannot pass the barrier that is. Ubabu. <laughs> it was, in fact, as Muslim, Brother Dominic. <laughs> Danny, would you like to pick a category? Scientists. Which 1974 show launched Magnus Pike in his television career? Uh, it's something called, like, Tell Us About It, or uh, Your uh, Questions Asked, or... No. A Matter of Fact. No, it wasn't, Danny. All right. It wasn't. It was, it was called Don't Ask Me. Don't no, ask. No. Yeah, oh. it was. was that, so no point I there. Didn't, what was the answer? The answer was Don't Ask Me. Oh, Barbara. <laughs> oh, of course! <laughs> Wendy, pick a category. <laughs> and, uh, I should say, Wendy, pick bosses. Right, bosses. Bosses. <laughs> Here we are. Reggie Perrin left his job at Sunshine Desserts and then became a boss of his own retail business. What was the name of that company? Grot. Ooh. Correct, indeed. Very firmly. Nice question there. Well, let's take a look at the scores once again. And it seems that the Starbirds are in the lead with ten, whilst the helicopters have nine. Yes. Very close indeed. Hello. The Starbirds are the winners because that's the end of the quiz. Helicopters, <laughs> you must feel very sad. You must feel very sad. Well, there's no need to feel sad because nobody leaves this quiz open-handed. That's right. As you'll see, as Vic displays. <laughs> The plastic and suede leg dagger sheath that you'll all be taking home with you this evening. Isn't that lovely? The 
Dagger, of course, is not included. That's right. Now, well, who it was you won, didn't you, Jonathan? Yes, Starbird. Yes, well, you've already won ten pounds because I'm going to convert that ten points to ten pounds. But we're going to give you a chance <laughs> to increase that catch prize for your team by asking you to join us and take the a din in, in the bin. <laughs> Jonathan, you've already got ten points and we can add to that for every second you'll get a pound if you can stay in that bin whilst we beat it with these cricket bats. That's right. Well, then, when you want to come out, simply toss out the turnip. Into the bin, Jonathan! <laughs> Off you go in there, Jonathan. What a beauty! If you get a little bit peckish, Jonathan, there's a couple of sandwiches in there. And here we go! No, we've just told on a minute. Sorry. Yes, he's holding Is the he turnip correctly now. They're all of the sandwiches. <laughs> and let's start beating the bar a bin. Let's have that clock, please. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> Could it be that the scores are the Starbirds in the lead? Mmm. Uh, well, we are now coming to the final round, which we're calling <laughs> Category. <laughs> oh, Vic, man. Vic. 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 She doesn't want a sweaty man like yourself pouring over. Please re retire. Do you fancy coming out? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll get a couple of... Vic! Yeah. Watch! Vic, come on. <laughs> I do apologise for the weekend. It's like having a great big pasty looking at you, isn't it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Vic, can you carry on? Vic, will you carry on? I can't carry on. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> now, behind us, you see this magnificent Blue suitcase. Oh, Valley's Bleu. Valley's Bleu. Valley's Bleu. <laughs> On it are displayed categories of questions. Now, hidden behind one of the subjects on the Bleu Valley's is a mystery prize. And if you should choose that subject, you'll hear this noise. Iran. <laughs> and you will receive details of that mystery prize. Now, should you answer incorrectly, you will hear this noise. <laughs> Have the wire underneath. Oh, just clap your hand. What are you doing? Matthew, <laughs> don't put your pocket on It's still not working. Vic. Huh. Yes, helicopters. Yeah. Who is this? Lewis! Lewis! <laughs> Lewis! Helicopters, Baker. Uh, the... Lewis! The, the, uh, the 18th century King of France's mother. Lewis! <laughs> He's not going to stop! Yes! Back on off! Lewis! Lewis! Very good. Lewis! It is very good. But... Lewis! Yes, my God. But... Lewis! Oh! Can we have a point over there? Yes, sir. It doesn't work. Is anyone's working? Mine's working beautifully. Yes. Why did it have to be all Rika's working perfectly? What? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> well, I thought some of our impressions were absolutely precise. And you were very hurt by some of the scornful remarks on some of our so-called celebrities here tonight, weren't you, Bob? You were, weren't you? Yes. Yes, well, say yes. <laughs> because you're a very sickly, pathetic boy, aren't you? You're very, very frail. <laughs> and sensitive. 
So we're going to turn the tables on our celebrities now and have some impressions for them. And uh, let's have the wild card, random... <laughs> Life Run. Baxter's brass hand, so are false. <laughs> it's false. It is false. <laughs> That's the proper one. You mean foolish. You mean a fool. Well, do you want another one? Yeah, give another one, a proper one. Fair enough. If you could, if you could. Nicholas Lindhurst's head is so long and narrow that he has to wear children's hats. <laughs> that are false. That's true. It is true. Oh, Rika, this is dog's hair long news, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Rika, TV amphibian Duncan Goodyear is so obsessed with litter that he hides in shop doorways and pounces on unsuspecting litter lads. It's true. It is true. Oh, it is true. Oh, it is true. Oh, it is true. Oh, Yes, now, that's the end of that round, so let's take a look at the scores, Vic. Yes, let's have a look at them. <laughs> well, moving on to the second round now. And this is entitled Commercials. We're going to start off with the Starbirds. That's you, Jonathan. Have a look at this commercial and tell me from what year does it date and who is speaking the voiceover. If you're looking for pretty clothes, take a look in Van Allen. Soap saves the way, loosens the It's the biological action, you know. Oh, and I'll tell you something else. Sometimes you don't need to wash things at all. Buy a <laughs> Helicopters. Thor heard. It was Thor heard. What happens next? What happens next is her husband comes out, come out and says that... Doesn't he? He just comes out. He comes out. <laughs> <laughs> her husband comes out. <laughs> Her husband comes back and says, and compliments her on the whiteness of her shirts, even yeah. at 40 Well, degrees. let's take a look. I have fab. The smile's going, she's starting to sway. Her <laughs> eyes are starting to go. <laughs> she, oh. She's going, it. she's going, she's going to fall off. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> Starbirds. What is Ernie about to offer housewives, and in what year? Ernie with the milkman. One of the Unigate teams. But he gives the housewives more than milk, like eggs, potatoes and cream. But there's something you're not giving up. Come so off the housewives say. He said, I know just what you mean. And now he gives them... <laughs> Jonathan, he looks very much like you in that advert. <laughs> in well, I would say 74. No, it's incorrect, and what was he offering? Oh, slide albums. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to start selling bread and stuff. Of the length and breadth of this country, to which, incidentally, he is an illegal immigrant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the helicopters. <laughs> and finally, introducing your host for this evening, Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. Welcome, please, yes, of course, welcome to Shooting, Shooting Stars. Stars! Oh, I do apologise, madam. <laughs> What's going on, Thursday? I just shot that woman's pig. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, love. Oh, no, let's carry on. Yes, welcome, indeed, to Shooting Stars! Shooting Stars! Stars. <laughs> oh, I do apologise, madam. Don't forget. What is it now, Vic? I shot the other pig. Another pig? Two How pigs. many pigs has she got? You know you shouldn't bring pigs in here. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, five there isn't three left. Just a couple of pigs left, though, eh? Yes, welcome to Shooting Stars. The quiz where TV celebrities, you see here, answer questions about TV matters and become TV celebrities themselves in doing so. <laughs> the rules are simple enough. There's open rounds individual. That's right, Pete. He said, I know just what you mean. And now he gives them... <laughs> Jonathan, he looks very much like you in that advert. <laughs> well, I would say 74. No, it's incorrect. And what was he offering? Oh, slide albums. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to start selling bread and stuff like that. Yeah. And everything from your milkman, Eggs. like uh, 
bread, eggs, potatoes, stuff like that. Yes, you do know your milk roundsman. <laughs> Well, well, what's the answer? What can I do? Well, 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 the, the, well I've just told you. Just give us a point well, and go on say, to the next question. Well, let's say bread. We'll say bread. It is bread. Yeah! yeah. 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 I know just what you mean. And now we give them bread. So, one point now. <laughs> Less of that as well. That cost a lot of money, that gin. <laughs> Helicopters. Who is starring opposite Lorraine Chess in this commercial, and what is the year? Um, Campari and lemonade? No, orange juice. Campari and orange juice? Now, is that out of sheer recalcitrance? No, out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Oh, again, can yeah, you tell us what the year is first, if you like? Seventy... Eight. 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 Oh, nine. So... Yes, correct, <laughs> Oh, oh, Mr. Jonathan, you've already got ten points, and we can add to that for every second you'll get a pound. If you can stay in that bin whilst we beat it with these cricket bats. <laughs> well, then, when you want to come out, simply toss out the turnip. <laughs> Into the bin, Jonathan! <laughs> Off you go in there, Jonathan. What a beauty! If you get a little bit peckish, Jonathan, there's a couple of sandwiches in there. And here we go! No, we've just told on a minute. Sorry. Yes, he's holding Is the he on? turnip correctly now. Get all of the sandwiches. <laughs> And let's start beating them out of the bin. Let's have that clock, please. What we got there? Ten more pounds. Ten more pounds. Yes, Jonathan, you won. Oh, the barber. Twenty pounds. You've won twenty pounds. Well done. Good Goodbye, you must be so happy. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Very sickly, pathetic boy, aren't you? You're very, very frail <laughs> and sensitive. So we're going to turn the tables on our celebrities now and have some impressions for them. And uh, let's have the wild card, random <laughs> life, random factor. Go, <laughs> go. Who will it be? Oh, great. Martin, give us an impression. <laughs> no buzzer in the first impression. <laughs> um, I've prepared this, actually. Yes, we You'll can You'll like tell. it. This is John Betjeman as the Elephant Man. Oh, are we not supposed to get We're not supposed to tell him that you twerk. Yes. <laughs> well, oh, I'd like to hear the Elephant Man. We, I'm not an elephant. I'm the poet laureate. <laughs> Random factor, please. Yeah. What a lovely sight. Danny! Oh. Danny! Russell Thompson Jr. of the Stylistics. Oh, a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you are to be a star on a TV show. Thank you very much. Very evocative. Phenomenal. Very evocative. Very good. 